Hi class, welcome back to our channel. For this video, I will show you how to find the decile for ungrouped data. Pero bago yun guys, define muna natin ano bang ibig sabihin ng decile. So the deciles are the 9 score points which divide a distribution into 10 equal parts. Okay? So deciles are denoted as d sub 1, d sub 2, d sub 3, up to d sub 9. Okay? So we use these deciles guys uh, to divide the whole distribution into 10 equal parts. Okay? Then, each part is 10%, guys, ng ating uh, kabuuan. Tama? So, meaning, ang ibig sabihin ng ating first decile or yung ating D sub 1 is 10% ng data falls below first decile. Okay? Then, we have 20% ng ating data falls below D sub 2. Okay? Then, 30% ng ating data falls below D sub 3. Then, of course, for D sub 9, that is 90% uh, of our data falls below D sub 9. Okay? So, yun yung ibig sabihin ng ating mga deciles. Okay? Ngayon, to locate the position ng ating deciles, gagamitin natin itong formula. Okay? So, it looks familiar guys since ito rin yung ginagamit natin formula sa ating quartile. Ang pinagkaiba lang is yung denominator. ba? Kay quartile, ang ginagamit natin is 4 since quartile divides the distribution into 4 equal parts. This time, ang denominator natin is 10. Okay? So, yung K dito guys, that is the number ng ating decile. Okay? Then, yung N is yung number of samples o ng ating data. Nakuha? So, let's have example number 1. Find the third decile, fifth decile, and eighth decile of the following test scores of a random sample of 10 students. So, ang data natin, we have 35, 42, 40, 28, 15, 23, 33, 20, 18, and 28. So, ang first step natin dito, guys, we need to arrange these scores in ascending order. So, since the least value is equals to 15, meaning, ang starting point natin is 15, followed by 18, then we have 20, then 23, then we have 228, followed by 33, 35, 40, and 42. Tama? So, ngayon, to find the location ng ating third decile, ibig sabihin, pwede na natin gamitin yung ating formula sa taas. Ito. Okay, since the value of k is equals to 3, so that is 3 over 10 times n plus 1. Or, ang n natin this time is yung number, number of samples. So that is 10 students. So that is... 10 plus 1. Tama? So, simplify natin to guys. So, we have 3 over 10 times 10 plus 1, that is 11. Okay? Then, 11 times 3, that is 33, then divided by 10. So, ang location ng ating third decile is 3.3. So, since decimal yung ating uh, location, pwede natin ngayon yan i-round off. Okay? So, ang third decile natin is makikita kay third. So, yan yung ating position. Ngayon, pag binilang natin yan guys, doon sa ating distribution. So, we have first, second, third. 
So, ang third value natin is yung 20. So, meaning, ang third decile natin is equals to 20. Nakuha, guys? So, ano bang ibig sabihin ng um, D sub 3 is equals to 20? So, meaning, that is 30% of the data falls below 20. Okay? So, next is, kunin naman natin yung ating fifth decile. So, using the same formula. So, that is D sub 5 equals 5 over 10. So, since ang K natin is equals to 5, so this time, ang numerator natin is 5. Tama? Times N plus 1. So, ang N natin is 10 plus 1. So, ang D sub 5 natin is 5 over 10 times 10 plus 1, that is 11. So, pag sinimplify natin to guys, 11 times 5, that is 55, divided by 10, so that is 5.5. Tama? So, since decimal yung ating uh, location o yung position, kilangan i-round off natin yan, so that is equivalent to 6. Okay, so to locate the D sub 5 or the value ng ating 5th decile, bibilangin lang natin yan dun sa ating distribution. So we have a uh, third, then ito yung fourth, fifth, then ito yung ating sixth. Okay, so D sub 5 is equals to 28. Nakuha? So that means 50% of the data falls below 28. Nakuha guys? So last is yung ating D sub 8 o yung ating 8 decile. So using the same formula, we have 8 over 10 since ang K natin is 8 times N plus 1. So ang N natin is 10, then plus 1. So simplify natin to guys. We have 8 over 10 times 10 plus 1, so that is 11. So, ang D sub 8 natin, we have 11 times 8, that is 88. Then, divide by 10, we have 8.8. .8. So, again, we have a decimal position, so round off nyo lang yan, guys. So, ang location ng ating D sub 8 is yung pang 9. Okay, so tuloy lang natin yung bilang. Ito yung 7. 8, then ito yung 9th. Nakuha? So, ang D sub 8 natin ngayon is equals to 40. Okay? So, interpret natin yung ating decile. So, we have D sub 8. So, that means we have 80% of the data falls below 40. Nakuha guys? So next, let's have example number 2. So given the data set 1, 3, 7, 7, 16, 21, 27, 30, and 31, find the 4th decile and 8th decile. So as you can see guys, na yung data set natin is naka-arrange na in ascending order. So hindi na natin yan kailangan galawin pa. Okay? So, pwede na tayong dumarecho sa pagkuha ng location ng ating D sub 4 and D sub 8. So, ang formula natin, we have D sub K is equals to K over 10 times N plus 1. Tama? So, ang N natin dito is yung number ng ating data. So, pag binilang yan guys, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So, ang n natin is equals to 9. Okay? So, ngayon, kunin natin yung location ni D sub 4. So, D sub 4 is equals to 4 over 10 times n, which is 9 plus 1. 
So, simplify natin to guys. We have d sub 4 is equals to 4 over 10. Then, 9 plus 1, that is 10. So, dito guys, pwede na natin i-cancel yung ating denominator and yung 10 sa numerator. Tama? So, d sub 4 is equals to 4. So, that means na yung ating, yung position ng ating d sub 4 is yung pang 4 sa ating distribution. Okay? So, ang pang 4th natin is yung 7. So, meaning, ang d sub 4 natin is equals to positive 7. Okay? So, pag ininterpret natin yan, since d sub 4 tayo, so that means na 40% of the data falls below 7. Okay? So, next, let's solve D sub 8. So, applying the same formula. So, this time, ang K natin is equals to 8. So, we have 8 over 10 times N, which is 9 plus 1. Okay? So, simplify natin to guys. We have D sub 8 equals 8 over 10. Then, 9 plus 1, that is positive 10. So, since may 10 tayo sa numerator and denominator, so pwede natin yan makancel. So, therefore, ang D sub 8 natin is equals to 8. So, that means na yung location ng ating D sub 8 is yung pang 8 sa ating distribution. Tama? So, pag binilang natin yan, guys, ito yung 8 natin. So, ang value ng ating D sub 8 is equals to 30. Okay? Then, we have ang K natin is 8. So, that means 80% of the data falls below 30. Ako okay, guys. So, this is the end of our video. I hope guys, uh, naintindihan nyo kung paano kunin yung ating deciles and kung paano siya i-interpret. Okay? So, if you have questions or clarifications, kindly put them in the comment section below. So, thank you guys for watching. This is Prof. D. I'll catch you on the flip side. Bye!